Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video. I am Tulupika for those that are new to this channel. On this video, come and get ready with me as I get ready to go to lunch with a friend. Basically, I'm going to be doing a Pam Rock set on my natural hair which is going to give you these results. I'm going to be doing my makeup and also doing this winter outfit idea. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button as well as the notification button to be notified of every time I post a new video and without talking too much, let's get straight into this video. For my hair, I'm going to be using these small pom rods that I got from Clix. There's 10 in each package so I have 30 with me. I'm also going to be using this perfect touch curl defining mousse and just a white tooth comb. I just finished washing my hair so my hair is wet. I think any hairstyle where you want definition like twists or braid outs or these curl um, hairstyles, you'll need to have your hair wet whether you spray it with water or you've just washed it. That's when you get the best definition. For each section, I'm going to use a small amount of mousse onto my hair i'm going to smooth it down and then i'm just going to detangle my hair just to make sure that my hair is not tangled for the takedown also to use a perm rod you first remove the cap and then you'll have it hanging from the perm rod and then i'm just going to section my hair into smaller sections I decided to start with the section on top because I don't want the hair to get tangled into each other. So you first roll the hair into itself on the perm rod at the bottom and then you go up your hair shaft until you get to the roots of your hair. When you get to the roots of your hair, you're going to close that cap and then that perm rod will be secured and stay in place until you take it down. Now I'm going to do the same thing all over my hair on all sections. You just put mousse, you detangle and then you roll the hair into itself onto the perm rod. You know I never realized that I have a lot of hair because I have a small head so you think I have a small amount of hair but when I'm doing hairstyles I just run out of things to use on my hair so now I have this big section on my hair where I only have three perm rods left so I'm going to have to make those sections large onto my hair but it's still going to work out when I'm taking down these perm rods. I'm just making sure that all the hair is tightly curled onto the perm rod because this space is larger and it might be loose. So when I'm done, I'm just going to wait for it to dry. I think the mousse makes your hair get dry faster. So it took me about 4 hours for my hair to get dry. But I just decided just to sleep with these perm rods on just to get more definition but you don't have to. When you are doing the takedown, carefully remove the cap without damaging your hair and then you'll slowly roll down the perm rod and just leave those curls. We're going to separate them when I'm done with the other perm rods. So let's do that all throughout my hair. You can see my hair is shiny and defined. That's exactly what I wanted. When you start on wet hair, it gives you the best definition. So I'm loving this. This could actually be a hairstyle. <laughs> it's giving me a 90s vibe, but no, I'm not going for that. So I'm going to separate the hair when I'm done taking all these perm rods off and I am done now. So when I separate the hair, I just pull the curl down and where it wants to separate, I separate it down and then I just twist those curls with my hands to give them more definition. I'm being gentle on my hair. I'm not tucking and pulling and breaking anything. As you can see, the hair separates easily because I detangled my hair while I was doing these perm rods. So everything is easy from now. We just just separating until you get the full volume that you want I'm going for a bigger volume head of hair so let me just do that separate and have that fuller curls definition that I want
so now I'm done separating those sections while I still maintain the definition of the curls now I'm just going to use a comb just to close any gaps that I might have in my hair and also to tease the hair up just to make sure that I have volume for this hairstyle it's not flat and also it's the way I want it to be shaped into my hairstyle and you can see I'm not combing the curls all the way through I'm just teasing the roots while I'm busy teasing the roots I'm still going to separate those curls just to make sure that I have a lot of curls onto my hair and you can see where I had the large gap on at the back I still have those defined curls because I separated those curls into smaller curls So after being done teasing and separating, this is how it looks. You can even see at the back that I have these defined curls. You don't see gaps. So I'm happy about that. So now I'm going to do my makeup. I'm just going to remove my hair from my face. I'm just clipping it back just so I have space to do my makeup. I'm first going to start by using the LA Girl Pro Prep HD Color Correcting Face Primer all over my face. I'm then going to use a spoolie brush just to brush my brows up. And then I'm going to use an eyebrow liner in the bottom of my natural eyebrows and also at the top of my natural eyebrows. The color is dark brown essence. And then I'm going to fill in those brows with the L'Oreal Paris. Brow Artist Genius Kit. I'm using a darker brown also to fill in my lashes. And then to neaten those brows, I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer in a light brown shade. I'm also using a concealer brush just to shape those brows and also make sure they are neat and beautifully shaped. I'll just do one eyebrow and then I'm going to do the same on the other brow of camera. Now for my eye makeup, which is my favorite, I'm just going to conceal my eyebrows with the same concealer that I used to shape my brows. It's not too clear on camera, but I'm using a sparkly gray to be my base color. This gives me a radiant glow like eye color, which I like when I'm doing a soft look that is muted and is not too loud so I'm going to put that all over my eyelids as a base I'm then going to use a brown that is close to the color of my skin tone onto the crease of my eyelids and I'm also going to move it up a bit just to create depth into my eyes and then for the corners of my eyes I'm using the darkest brown that is on the palette this is going to give you a soft, smoky eye look and it's also going to lift your eyes up giving you that cat look. And then I'm going to use Essence again but this time I'm using an ink eyeliner that is intense black and I'm going to be running it along my eyelid and doing that wing at the end of my eye. I don't put a lot of eyeliner on top of my eyelids because I have small eyes but I just put a lot on the wing. And then after doing my eyes I'm going to put foundation. I'm using the Clinique Even Better Glow foundation so I'm just going to tap it onto my face using a foundation brush. I don't spread any product onto my face, I tap it just to give you that um, coverage on your face without having lines on your face. After it's time to contour and I'm going to use that NYX Born to Glow highlighter just to highlight first. I'm highlighting under my eyes. I'm also going to go along um, that wing that I did so I can remove any products that might have been overlapping on my wing and eye makeup. And I'm also going to put it on the bridge of my nose, on my temple and also underneath my lips. 
and then I'm just going to slowly use a sponge just to blend it into my face. And then after I'm going to use a darker shade of that NYX Born to Glow Corridian Concealer. I'm going to use it on my forehead, underneath my cheekbones, and then also on my jawline. So now I'm basically sculpting my face and creating shades. I'm using a sponge just to blend it in and make sure it's blended into my foundation. And there's no harsh lines into the sculpting that I'm doing. After that, I'm going to put blush onto my face using a blush brush. Usually, I'd put blush after doing um, putting on translucent powder, but now I just wanted to try something where you put on translucent powder after doing all your makeup just to make sure it sits and it doesn't sit on your mask. The translucent powder I'm using, by the way, is Yardley Absolute Translucent Loose Powder and I always put it at the same places on my face. When I brush it off, it's going to fall on other areas of my face. Before removing this um, translucent powder, I'll just put on this Clinique High Impact Mascara. I love this mascara because it gives me those dark eyelashes that I want. I'm brushing off that translucent powder using a small brush and you can see that now my face is matte. Then I set my face with the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix. I love this. It sets my face so the gods my makeup doesn't go off until I take it off at night. For my lips, I use Wet n Wild Mega Lost Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick that is in a plumish color. And then I am done. You can see that my look is a soft, muted look that is not too loud. And it also gives you that glow. For my winter outfit, I'm wearing this jersey top that I got from H&M. It's a thick um, top that also has a V-line, which I like. I'm then going to layer with this H&M blazer in the color maroon. I love the button details on this blazer. And for these pants, I got these affordable pants with a waistline detail and then straight cut from Legit. To accessorize, I'm going to be wearing these Lovisa drop earrings. They are silver in color. I bought these semi-precious stone necklaces from Lovisa. I thought they were cute with this dream catcher and also they have these gems that I love. The one that I'm wearing is going to have an amethyst stone. And then I'm going to fragrance with my favorite Papa Roban Lady Million perfume. For my shoes, I'm wearing these pale pink Aldo shoes that I love. They are so comfortable and also carrying this Aldo bag. But I'm going to remove the bag holder because my jewelry is silver. So I don't want a lot of gold onto my outfit. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Do comment down below on your favorite part of the video or also on any other video you'd like to see on my channel and I'll be sure to check it out. So I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.